Today I want to touch on a lead-based disclosure. Any homes that were built prior to 1978 in the state of Indiana, uh, it's possible that there could have been lead-based paint used. So when we go to list a home and we see that it's obviously built before 78, we have some disclosures that we have the sellers fill out just uh, to inform our buyers and disclose whether they know there's lead-based paint or if they have any reports of lead-based paint or maybe they don't, they're not aware of any lead-based paint or they've not had any reports of lead-based paint. Typically, uh, anything before 78 has had lead-based paint in it. In 1978, I believe the EPA came in and said, look, we got to stop using uh, lead-based paint. It's not good for people. So they stop it, they switch gears, and they're using different paints. I've not seen a whole lot of lead-based paint problems. I will say sometimes we'll have inspections done and there's flaking or chipping paint on an exterior of an older home. Uh, hasn't been painted in a while. That could uh, have the risk of being lead-based paint. So when we scrape that, uh, you know, the seller has hired somebody to come out and scrape that lead-based paint off and then they repaint over it. That works. That seals everything in. But if you've got lead-based chips on the ground from that scraping, you would need to get rid of that because quite honestly, an animal or a human or a baby could pick a piece of that up and ingest it and then we would have a problem. So just remember, talk to your agent about your lead-based disclosure, whether it applies to you or not. And also, if you're doing some scraping and getting rid of some paint, make sure you get that cleaned up and dispose of it properly. For more local real estate information, please like and subscribe to the Jeremy Ward Team YouTube channel.